Recently, I had to figure out a way to convert an audio file to M4A, which is kind of like the MPEG-4 audio only version of a file type. Now, in Media Encoder, there is no way to do this, especially on a Mac, so I had to figure out a creative way to do it. To convert any audio file to M4A, first we need to get an audio file into Media Encoder. And in this case, I just have a WAV audio, form, uh, audio format. And then I'm going to go in here and edit the export settings just by clicking on any of the blue icons or blue links on that uh, export. The format I'm going to choose is MPEG-4. From there, I'm going to uncheck export video and just export audio. Then I'm going to go to the multiplexer tab and under basic settings, I want this to be MP4. Standard is fine right here. Now, after you do that, you can hit OK. You can select where it's saving and what the name of it is. I'm just going to save it to my downloads. That's fine. And we'll hit save. So we're going to play this and start the queue. And it's going to export that media. And it's going to export it as an MP4 what we need to do with this mp4 since like i said an m4a is essentially an audio version of the mp4 we've got the right sort of codec in here we're just going to change the extension to m4a and press enter there's going to be a warning that pops up that says are you sure you want to change this extension it might change how this file opens yes we do and we're going to use m4a and you can actually see how it changes that icon to a music icon or maybe iTunes or whatever because now this file type is Apple MPEG-4 audio. So all you have to do is convert it properly to an MPEG-4 audio only and then change the file extension to actually use this as an M4A file. So the screen recording software that I use is called Screen Studio. If you're interested in all these zoom effects, there's a link in the description. But one of the things in there that I can do is get into the audio files that are recorded, and I actually replace those files. And they're M4A recorded files. So I had to figure out a way to convert WAV and MP3 files to M4A. This is the way I've been using, and it has been working to uh, use and replace those audio files. So this works. This is how you can uh, kind of work around and export easily from Adobe Media Encoder M4A files.